Welcome back, everybody, to the Morning Woodward Show. We've got to get into some Lions talk before they take on the Broncos this Sunday. They had 22 players out yesterday for practice. So this could get really ugly really fast. Um, Goff was out this week with an illness. I think he was back yesterday, but he was out Wednesday. Let's see, DeAndre Swift obviously out with a shoulder. Rashad Berry, Michael Brockers, Austin Bryant, Taylor Decker, Charles Harris, TJ Hawkinson, Will Holden, Jonah Jackson, Jamar Jefferson, Tommy Kramer, McNeil. All, it, the list goes on. There, It's a very, very long list of names that did not practice either Wednesday or Thursday of this week. You guys, what does this mean for the Lions going oh. into this weekend? I mean... The flu bug has officially hit this locker room. With a team that's won 10 and 1 um, and, and 0 5 and 1 on the road, they haven't won on the road, and now they're going uh, to Denver, mile high. Um, and, and listen, this team is so bad that the margin of error is very small. And if you lose the players they've, they're losing, and, and they have TJ Oxen questionable, DeAndre Swift clearly still questionable, Levi questionable, tons of guys questionable, either due sickness or injury, their margin of error is very small. And I don't know if missing all of the, those guys, because listen, we have the most one through seven uh, rookies playing all the, through the rounds. They're all playing, and you have a couple of them questionable. Uh, I'm a little bit worried. And listen, I, I did say weeks ago that they have, they'd have a chance to beat the Broncos. I did say healthy. Obviously, I didn't think they'd lose half the roster. Um, it doesn't help their chances, but I'm not really concerned so much so about the health of the roster. I'm trying to see how this team responds after a win. And that was last week. Obviously, you're going to miss a majority of your players, but I want to see how they go into this game against a struggling Denver Broncos team on the road. Uh, I want to see what, what's being shown, and that's important because we haven't really been shown much until the last week, and, and obviously they drive down the field. Dan Campbell still has some b- rather bonehead decisions. I want to see how not only the decision-making transitions to this game because you want that him to improve on that, um, but how, in general, the play calling, uh, defensively, offensively. I'm just looking at how they're playing schematically. I mean, that's really my concern because the, the talent will be there eventually. I'm not concerned. I mean, either coming back uh, due to injury or, or adding more talent next year, I want to see how this team improves schematically on both sides of the ball because defensively, they've shown a whole lot. Um, obviously, Aaron Glenn had that big mistake where Dan had to take double time out, didn't have the right personnel in, but overall, um, a lot of positive things. So looking into this game, I'm not concerned about who's going to win or lose. The Lions will probably lose this game. Um, I think it'll be close but I'm looking at how they do schematically and and how Dan Campbell just calls a game and this will be another game of him being the play caller and you want to see him improve in that area and just see how um, the coaching staff performs that's what I'm looking at I mean I I could give two rats about who's out who's in because at the end of the day um, I I want the Lions to achieve a number one overall pick so schematically um, look the Lions I don't think are going to show up to Denver with no players. All right, let's just like eliminate that. I don't, <laughs> I don't think they're just going to show up with 10, 15 practice squad guys. I think they're going to be available by the time the game starts. Now, whether the sickness affects their gameplay, I don't really care too much. This is a tricky game, and it's going to be an emotional Denver stadium. Maha Stadium is going to be extremely emotional. I'm sure there is going to be a tribute for Demarius Thomas and a moment of silence. And there are players and people in the front office that have played with him. Let's not forget the Super Bowl he helped deliver. The memorable Tim Tebow playoff catch. Overtime, Pittsburgh. Mm -hmm. Tim Tebow himself. Kennedy, I know you like that one. Um, And it's a tricky game because I think Javante Williams is one of the most underrated running backs in the NFL right now. He's unbelievably smart in the way he carries himself. He's impossible to tackle too. Very, very low center of gravity. Strong core strength. Tough Mm -hmm. to bring down. Fast. Agile. Look, it's going to be a difficult matchup. Any game the Lions play this year, you're you're not going to really sit there and say, wow, they're going to win by 20. No. no, It's going to be a tough game. Um, I think where it gets tricky now is who's going to be available and who isn't. Who's actually really sick and who was just in contact. And you're not really going to know that till what, Saturday night, Sunday morning? And I think that's tricky. Yeah. um, I mean, Dan Campbell did admit that he was kind of like taking 
practice in chunks by like groups so like special teams was just together and that he was trying to keep everyone separate to like kind of stop the spread so I know Wednesday I don't think golf was necessarily like down bad or anything but he was trying to give make sure everyone